Hello and welcome to Crafty Concepts with Erin. Today I'm going to put together a layout utilizing this Cricut background um, element that I cut from the Artistry cartridge. If you have the physical cartridge, it would be the icon found on page eight. And again, that is just the background shape. So I've cut it out on a piece of white daisy and then selected four different colors of ink. Using my sponge dauber, I'm just going to randomly apply these colors um, directly to the white cardstock. And as you can see, it's almost kind of going on a little uneven, maybe a little modeling there, but I actually really like the way that looks. It adds a little dimension and interest to the, um, the foliage there. There's so many fun background elements to choose from in the artistry cartridge. I chose this one because I'm going to scrapbook a couple pictures of my sister and I when we took a trip to Oahu and we had a chance to visit some of the botanical gardens there and this um, cut file, I guess we would call it, just reminds me a lot of the plants and foliage that we saw when we toured some of those botanical gardens. So the color of the ink I'm using right now is the Lagoon and that lighter green color on some of the leaves is the Sweet Leaf ink. I don't really have a plan here, I'm just kind of distributing the colors around the page so that they look balanced. This yellow ink that I'm about to add is actually the Buttercup, which is a retired ink and no longer available, but they have the Lemon, and I think that would be comparable to this shade. I'm slowly collecting all the new ink colors. I have been a consultant for well over 10 years, and some of these inks that I'm using are at least that old. I got them at the very beginning, and they're still going strong. So I'm just adding the finishing touches and again, making sure I like the way the color flows throughout this background here. And I like the way the ink kind of blends into each other, even though like I'm coloring the flower red and the leaf green, it actually, where they, the inks kind of blend together, I like the way that looks. I've grabbed a piece of cardstock from my stash in the mint color to use as my background for this particular layout. And this is a scrap of sapphire that I'm just going to use to back these two photos on. So at first I was going to leave this background shape in one whole piece and just kind of envisioned it on the cardstock there, but then I just got this idea to cut it out. I had a vision in my head of how I wanted this layout to go, so I decided to cut the pieces out and use them independently as embellishments on this page. Some of you may be thinking, oh my gosh, she just did all that work and now she's cutting it to pieces, but hang in there and I think that you'll agree that um, this was definitely the way to go on this particular layout. I'm just going to roughly arrange them around the photos just to make sure I have the color kind of dispersed and balanced on either side. Some I put behind the cardstock and then some I layer over it but tucked behind the photos. So I think that just gives more interest than if it were all behind the photo mat. Some of the pieces just need a little bit of reshaping where you cut them apart, but that's okay. It's fairly easy to do with the super sharp micro tip scissors there. 
So as you can see, I'm just kind of playing with this as we go along and tucking things in around the layout. At first I was thinking I didn't really care for all the just dark blue cardstock around the photos and I wanted to add a little bit more color. So this is a scrap of paper left over from another project in the So Much Happy workshop kit. So I'm just kind of experimenting to see if I like that and, I, and I'm not really happy with it so I'm going to cut it down and just put a little strip of it behind the photo there on the right. So it's just a little pop of color without overwhelming the photos. It was fun to play with these embellishments. I like that I was able to create them from basically just paper and ink. Everybody has paper and ink on hand. I suppose you'd have to have a Cricut or perhaps your friend has one and you can cut out some die cuts and backgrounds and just keep them on hand for when you want to do something like this. I like what I have so far so I'm going to go ahead and get these tacked down into place using my liquid glue. I didn't catch it on camera but you can see that um, explore title in the upper left hand corner. That's a chipboard piece from the So Much Happy collection. Um, it comes from the, the compliments that come with that kit. And also I matted the photo on the right with a larger piece of that colored cardstock. I'm going to go ahead and pop this title up on foam tape just so it stands up and pops up off the page a little bit. And then we have just a few of these little floral clusters also from the So Much Happy compliments that I'm going to pop up on foam tape as well and just kind of layer right on top of the um, floral embellishments there. We have this title that says Loving This Life and I'm just going to cut off the This Life part and then fussy cut around it so I can add that to my own title. So it will read Explore This Life, which is exactly what we were doing on that particular day. We got up really early in the morning. We wanted to be at the trailhead no later than six o'clock so we can beat some of the crowds. So we got up and hiked up to see this waterfall and it was just a really fun, beautiful day. As you can see, I went ahead and printed my journaling on the computer and then cut them into strips. The zip strip I'm incorporating on the bottom of my photo right now is from my stash. I'm pretty sure it was a leftover piece from the Postcard Perfect set, but I love the way it just tied in and all the colors uh, blended beautifully. So I went ahead and used it on this layout. It just goes to show you it's a good reason to hang on to everything because you don't know when you're going to need it. I have these little expression stickers that you just saw me trying to incorporate onto the lower right hand side of the page. And I liked the sayings, but I wasn't sure I wanted more strips on my layout. They kind of reminded me too much of my strip journaling and I thought maybe it would be just too much on the layout. So while I'm brainstorming about those, I'm gonna go ahead and do what I know and get the journaling tacked down into place. I'm using liquid glue on the back of these and then making sure to stagger them when I lay them down. I just think it looks a little bit more interesting than if they were all lined up evenly in a row. So I'm going to just kind of play with these around the layout in a few different positions. But yeah, again, I think it's just too many strips going on. So I have this little scrap of 
sapphire paper with the lagoon hearts on top and I wanted to just I often do like little um, banners or flags coming down from the top of my page but I thought this would be fun and I haven't done it in a while so I just go ahead and use my tape runner to fold those corners down and then we can glue the cardstock piece right behind there so it just kind of peeks through the top of the page and draws your eye and just helps put a pop of color up there. So no layout is complete without a little bit of bling so I have these sequins, um, adhesive back sequin pieces that I believe came from the I Heart Us kit. So I'm going to nestle these in the center of this red flower here and I like the way that looks there. So then I'm just going to kind of disperse these around the page just to kind of draw your eye and add a little sparkle and detail to the layout. I think I caught it on camera but as you can see the yellow foliage there I inked the edges with the uh, ruby and the lagoon and I just thought that looked really pretty. I like the way that came together there. So there will be some still shots following in the end but here's the finished layout. I hope you guys feel inspired and enjoyed this video. Be sure to click like and subscribe so you don't miss what's coming next week and I will link the products that I used in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week.